Okay, we have got a boatload of crazy tonight. Are, are you prepared? For I am prepared. Watching you on Skype right now is really weird, because you're like... It's laggy? It's, it's funny. It's like this, like freeze frame thing going on you're like come on vogue all right let's let's i kind of i kind of wish we had bad dubbing of everything you're saying on top of it <laughs> all right let, let, let's prepare to die let's get started here okay <laughs> each week Catherine goes out on the worldwide interwebs finds all sorts of horrible stuff brings it on back here in a little segment we like to call what the fuck is wrong with you? And oh, we even have a Comic Con ish story really? to start with. Um, yeah, and it's not this one. Whoops. No, it's this one. Okay. This is from uh, North Carolina. And, it's uh. Neck of the Woods, kind of, sort of. Well, it's a whole other state. It's about, you know, five well, it's closer to you than it is to me. <laughs> Oh, uh, from, from North Carolina, man dressed as Spider-Man, wielding sword, attempts to rob North Carolina convenience store. From Jacksonville, North Carolina, a note to would-be crooks channeling their favorite superheroes. Just because you wear the mask, it doesn't give you superpowers. And I want to note, reporters, don't try to be cute with stories like this. If you're a reporter, just write the fucking story. Um... Authorities in North have some no- not unless you have some knowledge. Be right, like, right. you know, maybe Mary Jane really, really wanted that beef jerky, <laughs> but your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man pays. <laughs> Authorities in North Carolina say a sword-wielding bandit wearing a Spider-Man mask walked into a convenience store Wednesday morning and demanded money. Here's where it gets hilarious. Now, I know Spider-Man 3 sucked some major ass and I blocked most of it out, but I don't remember the part with the sword. No! You're you're ruining your own theme here, dude. Like did it maybe maybe he was trying to do the the way they ruined Deadpool in Wolverine when he could inexplicably still bend his arms while shooting three foot katanas out of his wrists. Well, the, 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 you know what? And you mentioned Deadpool. Deadpool would have been a better choice here. Come on, if you're going to do yeah, this. Yeah, the swords. I right. mean, if you've already got the red bodysuit, be consistent. But right. But no. Just be a good nerd. That's all we ask. But this story gets even better. The Onslow County Sheriff's Office says the clerk pulled out a broom and poked the suspect in the stomach. A second clerk joined in the struggle. The suspect lost his mask, very much like Toby McGuire. Couldn't keep his fucking mask on. And, uh, bef- and part of his ponytail was ripped out before he fled. He lost his mask from being poked. How, how fucking hard did they poke him? Well, two, two guys just are like, fuck this. Better question. When they poked him, did he go, hoo <laughs> uh, Sheriff's deputies found him at a nearby home. 56-year-old Dale Foudy. Foudy faces several charges. He's jailed under a $100,000 bond. It wasn't immediately known if he had an attorney. Yeah, here's a question. How does Sword lose fight with Broom? Well, okay, let, let, let's, let's add this up here. Shouldn't sword chop broom? Well, paper he... cuts scissors, cut paper. Paper covers rock. Rock crushes scissors. Sword cuts broom. He's a fifty-six-year-old man with a ponytail in a Spider-Man outfit. Do you really think he had any idea what the fuck he was doing with a sword? Yes, <laughs> I do. Because those are the guys. That fucking take 16 martial arts classes a week and then sit home on YouTube taking tutorials on how to be a fucking samurai. No, they're not. No, no, honey. No, no. They they are. They're the spy. They're the super, the the Star Wars kid. That's who these guys are. Because if you're 56 years old and you have a Spider-Man outfit and a ponytail and a sword. I feel like you're getting dangerously close to offending me because I'm 34 years old and I have a, a phoenix outfit and batons. Batons are not swords. And you, I don't think you ever once, and you just, you gave away your costume, by the way. Well, yeah, people guessed it because I forgot that I totally put it on Twitter. But you, you, <laughs> you have never once thought to yourself, 
I'm gonna go be Dark Phoenix in public with twirling batons. You've never. You don't know that. In fact, in college, my friends and I all made up like we made ourselves a fake core of superheroes, and my superhero was Baton Girl. I had a spandex outfit. And I had batons that I used as projectile weapons to, like, fight crime and shit. Did you rob convenience stores as a group? Well, no. Okay. You just don't just... You're making all the rest of us geeks sad when you do shit like this guy. Yeah. I mean... And it's Spider-Man! He's a hero and you're robbing... No! Oh, no, that is nerd blasphemy. Stop it. Yeah, like, at least get your canon right. You know? Deadpool would have been fine! Because he would do shit like this. Deadpool, he'd rob a convenience store. Spider-Man... He'd rob a no. convenience store for a fucking Milky Way. Right. Dead With money in his pocket. Spider-Man... Just because he could. Yes. Spider-Man, no. Bad nerd. Bad, yeah. bad nerd. Stop that. Okay, and we, we're we're about to get back into our wheelhouse here, um, because you know it wouldn't be it, it wouldn't be one of these shows without this. Um, this is from Deerfield, where where Deerfield, where Massachusetts, Nef Massachusetts. Okay, Mount Sugarloaf. Yeah, Deerfield polu police use stun gun to subdue naked man running around Mount Sugarloaf. Well, that sounds like. A bad porno, doesn't it? It does it. It does, doesn't it? Naked at Mount Sugarloaf. Mm -mm. A quiet morning at the summit of Mount Sugarloaf was disrupted this Sunday after a naked man caused a scene which ended after the police used a stun gun twice to subdue him. According to the report, the recorder. I love what's going on here. The unnamed man was running around the mountain as nearby onlookers were oh, preparing oh. for a wedding. It appears somebody objected to this here union. Uh. <laughs> Wouldn't that just be the worst thing ever? <laughs> if anyone here objects... <laughs> when they say, speak now or forever hold your peace, they don't mean hold your peace. Oh, oh, really? Mm. Oh. <laughs> they just mean shush. What, just... What? Would wouldn't that be the worst thing? Uh, yeah, people in chat are going, "Yeah, you need a pair of sunglasses for that." One. <laughs> well, I was actually quoting Kill Bill, but I P people in the I mean, <sighs> wouldn't it just be the worst thing ever? You're up there, you're saying your vows, and all of a sudden, crazy naked guy, and then here comes the police, and they have to stun the fucker <laughs> twice, uh, and suddenly the string quartet starts playing yakety sax and. However, I will Thanks grant. Party. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, -da 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 yeah, you can just see that happening. I will grant the guy this, though. This is. I make Mister Freeze sound like George Carlin. Fuck you. That was funny. <laughs> you do this job. <laughs> when the naked man was finally taken into the custody, he apparently apologized to officers <laughs> as he was placed on a gurney. And loaded into an ambulance. So at least, mm. at least he had the the grace to say, "I'm sorry." I'm very sorry. I streaked your wedding. <laughs> that was some. It was some tenacious crazy though. Twice. Have you ever been, had a taser used on you? No. Once is enough. Have you had a taser used on you? No. But I've seen what happens. Have, have you seen one hit with a taser? Strong, big, strong guys start crying like children. Yeah, I mean, I've seen it. People get tasered like on the news and stuff. So if if you're going to have that shit happen twice, you're damned and determined to be crazy. You, you are not fucking around with the crazy there. Or you kind of like it. Let's let's move on to more. I'm just saying, there are websites on the internet that sell things that are electrical, and uh, some people are into that kind of thing. Yeah, well, this one. This is the I'm not going to tell you. This guy is interested is into something else entirely. Uh, where does this one come from? Um, Oklahoma man covered in oil makes lewd <laughs> oh proposal. 
makes lewd proposals to girls. And we, he's got to go on the big screen because he's purdy. Oh, my God. Police in Chikasa made a, I, I think that's how it said, uh, made a bizarre arrest after they got a call from a man who covered himself in cooking oil and made suggestive proposals to children. <gasps> oh, no. I was sitting there watching TV and I heard a little hollering, a neighbor said. So I opened the door and there were three police cars sitting outside. He was stark naked with cooking oil. All over him. You skipped a really good part. Which which part? Neighbors have plenty to say about what happened at the apartment complex where they live, especially a recent episode involving a man upstairs known as Boo Boo. Boo Boo. -boo. He calls himself Boo Boo. Um, the suspect uh, tried to offer the children crack cocaine. At some point in time, he went into their bedroom. And asked them if they would engage in sexual activities with him. Fuck you! No, don't fuck him! That's what he wants! Point. You never give these people what they want. That's called positive reinforcement. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Jesus. Even worse. I don't know better or worse to say here. Just... Even to up the ante, shall we say. Court records state when officers got on scene, Branham had sweatpants on and looked to be sweating heavily. But after a closer look, police soon realized he was not sweating. He had lubed himself all over with cooking oil. If you are naked and people can't tell... It's probably going to surprise people that I don't know this. Can you actually use that for lube? That doesn't seem safe. That doesn't seem sanitary. Yeah, I don't know either. I don't think, like, fucking canola someone, oil. I don't think, like, Mazzola makes suitable lube. Someone in the channel Someone in the channel is going to know. They say no. No, some, I have people saying no, people saying yes, and it's not a good idea. And most people are saying, I don't want to know. Well, yeah, anything oil-based will eat through a condom. That's true. Uh, but I got to feel like this guy... One gonna use one. Yeah. I'll, also, uh, when if you are naked and covered in oil, and police can't tell if you're wearing sweatpants or not, but no, you they are, tell he was wearing sweatpants. They just could. They thought he was sweating. See, I'm not sure if he was wearing sweatpants or if he, because the way it's phrased, I'm not sure if he was wearing sweatpants or that's just his legs when naked. Which, holy shit, dude. Time to, you know, do a little manscaping. Just saying. Maybe he's a satyr. <laughs> that would explain so much of this. It would. <laughs> hey, kids, you want some crack? Cocaine is a hell of a drug. I mean, if they find a pan flute in this place. Pan flute, not a skin flute. <laughs> they already found that. Yeah. Is oiled. So, you know. All right, let's see what else we have here. Oh, and more, more naked. So much naked. So much naked. <sighs> oh, so very much na- Teen arrested after. He just PM'd me that I just made an awesome bitch face, and I have no idea which face he was referring to. I cycle through so many faces in a second. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, Teen arrested after running naked into home. Kansas City, Missouri. None of this is Florida, which is just baffling me. That's a little scary. It's spreading. I know. A 17-year-old boy is a... I love the look on your face there when you read... Did you start reading the the, the, the article when you... Mm. 17-year-old boy is accused of running naked into a Kansas home and climbing into bed with a 6-year-old girl. Uh, The 35-year-old homemaker awoke to the sounds of his dogs barking Thursday and saw a naked man go into his daughter's bedroom. Homeowner ran upstairs in the girl's bedroom, tackled the teen, and held him down until police arrived. Um, Are we done with the child molestation after this? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. But uh, 
Here's the thing here. The teen who was charged with second-degree burglary, they, they should have been charged with some other shit there, admitted to police he smoked marijuana. <gasps> really? Marijuana? Really? This is, this, this is, you so cannot hold your fucking drugs, dude. I mean, sorry, sorry. You cannot hold your shit. How does this keep happening? Like, how do you not know at some point that you need to fucking lock yourself in your home? Like, how do you not know? Yeah, I, I, I'm, yeah, I'm calling bullshit. People in the channel are calling bullshit. We don't do that. It doesn't. No. Oh no! This what? Oh, I I'm blanking on the name of that movie from the fifties about the 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 scare movie about marijuana. What was it called? Is that the one they just remade, Reefer Madness? Reefer Madness. Yes. That this if you are if you came out if you are the the case study for Reefer Madness, you can't hold your shit because most of the time it's Cheech and Chong, and I never saw Cheech and Chong run naked into someone's house just because they had a joint. No, I'm sorry. Most of the people, here, most of you kids, are too young. Harold and Kumar. There you go. Now there's, there you They're go. They're not too young. They just made Reefer Madness. They just John Waters redid Reefer Madness like ten years ago. Fuck them. They're too young. They yeah, but they don't know Cheech and Chong. They don't know Cheech and Chong. These these kids today, they don't know Cheech and Chong. What the Harold Cheech and Marin. Kumar? There you go. Cheech Marin played Hurley's dad on Lost. <laughs> All comes back around. All comes. You don't think you might have a wee bit of an accession? You shut up, Mr. <laughs> Doctor Who. You go to hell and you die. Who for two hours every Monday? <laughs> Whatever. I don't go on the internet for five hours and spend two of it talking about loss. That's all I'm gonna say. If we got you a camera and some editing software, you might. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here, um, again, not Florida. Again, this is stunning me. This is just, ah, Chesapeake, Virginia. Man wielding machete, can of gasoline, demands test results from medical center. Well, I got the test back from the doctor. I'm definitely crazy. <laughs> I, I know I just totally low promised. hanging fruit, I, but okay. yeah, it was it was right there. Low hanging fruit, fruit, but yeah, a man armed with a machete and a can of gasoline was taken into custody. Um, the identified man arrived at the diagnostic center of Chesapeake before 9 a.m. Friday. Staff and visitors subdued him. Uh, she could not say whether he was a patient at the center. Uh, let's see. Don't go away, Papa Bear. Uh, no charges have been fr- filed. The man has not been identified. No one has been. Uh, in- no one was injured. But I guess that's all good. But this is what the fuck? You come there armed for like Vietnam to get well, your test results. The two weapons don't even go together. Like if you're gonna bring the gasoline, bring a match. Right? Yeah. You know. Machete plus gasoline equals smelly wet machete. Not much else. Maybe he was like, you know, I'll put the gasoline on the machete and it'll hurt more when I cut you. Or something like, like some, maybe, but... Would, that would hurt more. Or, yeah, someone in the channel said, uh, Less Than Lucid says, at least make a flaming machete. You know, you have, you could put those two together. It would be a lot more... Maybe that was the plan. He just didn't get there? Yeah. What the fuck test results could he possibly be looking for that required him to accost them with a machete? What, were they just not telling him or something? We know we're just not going to tell you. I mean, really? What the fuck was going on? Well, there are places that like will withhold your results if you owe them money. Uh, yeah, there's that. <laughs> How about, and considering the price of gasoline, maybe you could sell the gasoline to get the money to get your test results. How about yeah. that? Because I'm betting... It's like a paternity test? Uh, Some kind of pending court case? 
that he wasn't allowed to know or something, something. Still, machete gasoline, not the way to go. No! Cause it's like getting naked and gluing yourself to someone's desk is not going to get you disability. This is not going to get you sick because because when you are trying to conduct a transaction of some sort and you're already jumping straight to the machete, you've you've already taken it as far well, as we don't know. He jumped straight to it. There could have been steps before that. The story doesn't say. That's got to that's got to be one hell of a medical center if 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 it actually got to the machete level, you know. But somehow I think someone who is willing to take out a machete is not someone who's going to go who's going to look on the, the park the, the, the bus bench and call the lawyer. I don't think so. I don't is you know if if it, if, if if the machete in a can of gas was a good idea. No, he's not. It's not going to be better. Call Saul. No, it's he's not going to do that. Oh, yeah. finally we get to Florida. Oh, thank God. No, not not thank God. So you know all those uh, all those guys who end up in the Starbucks with 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 the Mac earbooks and drink coffee and type like uh, just so they can be seen to be doing stuff. Yeah, they had a really really bad surprise. From uh, from Florida, from Port St. Lucie this week. Accused vomiting intoxicated coffee drinker busted at Starbucks. Um, something along the... Yeah, a lot of people sit at tables at Starbucks and drink coffee. Fewer folks do so while wearing no shirt, barfing, and appearing intoxicated. Is barfing really a word we're going to use in a journalistic publication? I guess... Barfing is a word we use on Wayne's World. Barf is not a word we use no, no, in a no. professional published article. No, Tara. We... I, I, I totally sound like Lindsay doing like John Malkovich at Olive Garden right now. <laughs> no, no, Tara, Tara. It's not. It's Wayne's World is not barfing. It's spewing. It's hurling. No, no. If but you're still. Gonna, if you're going to spew, spew into this. Remember that? So, yeah. yes. But no, like. Barfing is not a word we use in professional grown-up publications. Well, whatever you want to call it, he done did it. Um, when officer arrived at the coffee shop, a man identified as Eric Mueller, 25, had already, quote, stumbled away. Look at that crazed grin. Oh, yeah, he's going on the big screen because he's, he's so happy. He is so happy to be under arrest. I always love those those pictures. I'm on TV, Mom! Um... I walked down the side of the building, observed the subject with his shirt now on, upside down, laying in the grass near the roadway. The officers reported smelling alcohol on Mueller, who had slurred his speech and had, quote, coffee all over him. Um, so, yeah, uh, who goes to Starbucks drunk? Who does this? Well, they, you're supposed to drink coffee to sober up, right? Yeah, but the co- you you drink the the, uh, the 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 Dunkin' Donuts coffee. You drink the McDonald's coffee. You don't go to Starbucks to drink the sober up coffee. Why? What? Why? Mike says he goes to Starbucks drunk, <laughs> <laughs> and not a single person was surprised that day. No, no, my producer goes to to Starbucks drunk. That that's probably what led him to to buy this little piece of magic. Yeah. But no, no, if if you're drunk, you don't want the the hazelnut crunch, butter pecan coffee. You want the oh god, I'm drunk coffee. You want the black death coffee. That's gonna sober you up. <laughs> Have you ever? Yeah, I worked at a coffee shop for a year, and we didn't sell anything called black death. Well, they they don't label it. It's the one in that big. 10 gallon tin that's constantly on the burner with a little spout on it. You know? <laughs> you know, like the ones they keep at AA meetings? Yes! Hey, I there's guess. an idea! A- AA? Yeah, if you're this drunk, go to the AA meeting for your coffee! Because if you're showing up at the Starbucks without your shirt and you puke, then you go out into the grass upside down, somehow get your shirt back on, and the cops find you. Yeah. AA okay. coffee. 
Nash, somebody wants to know how we met. <laughs> <laughs> Nash and I met because Navikin. Yes, we bonded over over we were intolerant of the Navikin lifestyle. Because Nash is a fucking bigot. Yeah, Google other kin. You'll have so much fun, I swear. And um, we actually only met in person at Comic-Con for the first time. Well, no, we've been, we've met if We've been, like, in the same 50-foot-wide room. Okay, all right. We haven't, like, spoken to each other. Well, now we have. Now we have, yes. And I fucked up an interview for you, so. Well, no, it's, it's salvageable. It's fine. It's fine. It's fixable. But, uh. Nash got caught up in my entropy field. So, you know, it happens. Um, okay, here's, here is tonight's piece de resistance. I saved the absolute worst for last. Oh, no, no, no! I yes. don't want it. I read the first two words and I don't want it. Yeah, this, this actually fucking happened. Alchemy! You're doing it wrong! Man jailed after trying to turn his feces into gold. A Northern Irish man's bizarre plan to get stinking rich. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> By turning his poop into... You know what? I respect that one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> By turning his poop into gold has landed him in jail. Paul Moran. Moran. His name is really more... Oh, God. 30. Thought Moran. his... Very common Irish name. You got a problem with that? Yeah, but it's it's okay. Uh, you've never seen those that guy I with the sign. I have seen the get a rain more in. There shirts. you go. Yeah, that's it. All comes to, it. All comes erect to that. So, it all comes erect to that. It all right? comes back to that. No, that's not what you said. This is what I said. Shut up, Freudian. You're being. You're not doing Freudian. this bit with hope tonight, honey. Hmm. Um, I thought his bathroom. <laughs> that's kind of a double entendre. I'm sorry. <laughs> thought his bathroom breaks would make him flush with cash if he kept his own waste and heated it to produce precious metal at his government subsidized apartment. However, what was he eating? That's not how Goldschlager works. Like, what was he eating that he thought he would poop gold? Um. His bizarre plan of turning it out to be a waste of time and caused $4,735 worth of damage after his placing his own feces on an electric heater in July. The fire service was called out. Police became suspicious after an officer at the scene overheard Moran tell someone he had put, quote, fertilizer on a heater. Uh, Moran, whose lawyer described him as a man of, quote, considerable intellectual ability. <laughs> Well, I'll spend the next three months looking at prison bars. I would really like some more explanation of how this was supposed to work. Like, why why would cooking your poo make it turn into gold? I, I, I want to know what the process was. Like, I, what did there? What? Yeah, it was just how? Yeah. I, I also like that uh, the lawyer said he had developed a problem relating to years of drug abuse. Yeah, the problem was fucking crazy. He developed fucking crazy as a result of... I mean, think about... Think about... You've got to be really devoted or really crazy or really desperate because think about the smell. All right, I used to have... My family used to have a cat with kidney problems. And when she didn't go out at night and she couldn't hold it, for some reason, I don't know why, she used to pee in the burners of the stove. <laughs> I don't know why. She was the meanest cat in the world. Not the sink. She would pee in the burners of the stove. And we wouldn't find out until my dad went to make his tea in the morning. <laughs> And I can't tell you. That'll wake you up. There, There is no smell in the deepest, <laughs> darkest pit of hell that can compare to the smell of burning cat piss. <laughs> there, there is no smell you can conjure anywhere. That is an evil fucking cat. That is, an that e is worse than the smell of burning cat piss. This cat was fucking evil. She was the meanest cat in the world. 
She knew what the fuck she was doing. But yeah, like that, that was a bad smell. And it was awful. And it, w- it would, it would wake you out of a sound sleep. The smell would wake you from a sound sleep. So I can't imagine living in a, an apartment. This was a house. We lived in a house. So I can't imagine living he, in an apartment. He wasn't. With the smell of your own cooking shit. And it wasn't just living in a house. He didn't pay for this. It was government subsidized, and he shared it with other people. So he was How doing... How did they not murder him? And he managed to do about almost $5,000 worth of damage in the process of... You stuff burning your own shit. How? How did they not <laughs> bludgeon him? I'm coming here to tell you if anybody this is unlike in the unlikely event that I and any of you any of you become roommates and you start fucking cooking your own shit <laughs> I will beat you to death yes before you can say oh no and you know what I beat your fucking brains in no jury would convict you no but see, how do you plead they were cooking their own shit have a nice day. I love this lawyer. He's trying so hard. He said he's a man of considerable intellectual ability. He's playing with his own poop! You, no, no, no. You could say he's trying to make shit into go. Fuck you! He is grown man playing with his doo-doo. That is not... That, that is... It's got a problem. And it's not... He doesn't... That's not a big brain. That's... If you're... Well, I mean, I, I mean, I, I tend to feel like there's a certain connection between intelligence and insanity, but you know, I just he had roommates, man. How did this happen? <laughs> did this, this, and what was he eating that he thought he was <laughs> the Lucky Charms? Don't really, <laughs> really valuable. <laughs> 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 no, they it's nothing. They're just marshmallows, dude. It's not really magically delicious. It's no. not really. No. <laughs> Fucker ain't even really Irish. They're not even shamrocks. They're four leaf clovers. Fuck that leprechaun. <laughs> oh god. All right, what did we learn? Oh Jesus, what did we learn? Um Make sure your disguise is thematically appropriate. Be canon, yeah. If you're going to go out right. in, in disguise, right. be canon appropriate. Yeah, because you know you're not impressing anybody with a sword and Spider Man. That's no, you nobody, nobody's going. With that. Um, we we learned that if you must object at a wedding, please do so respectfully, and not with your penis. That usually goes under the banner of respectfully. There are very few things you can do respectfully with your penis in public. Now I'm trying to think of what those could possibly be. I know you are. And it's not going to be easy for you. Penis is not a very respectable appendage. It's just no, saying. it's not. It's really not. Um, we learned that... Um, don't get naked around kids. No. No matter what fucking drugs you're on. Yeah, if if you find yourself in front of a small child covered in cooking oil offering them crack cocaine, a reevaluation of one's life is in order. Because yeah. you are you have reached Rick James level at that point. And not with the money, just with the sheer insanity. Um if what what else do we learn? We've learned that no matter how awesome you are, you do not shit gold. No. No. No, you... God damn it. Now I got the Lucky Charms theme in my head, yet I will never be able to eat them again. It's gonna be like... I'll be like in the, in the food... I'll be like grocery shopping tomorrow. I'll pass by the Lucky Charms. How can you eat them to begin with? They're disgusting. Like, oh, well, it's not, there's no food in that food. No, my girlfriend loves the Lucky Charms, though. She loves them. She does. Except, you know, if you open the box after like a day or two, the marshmallows are all spoiled. Yeah, but, we learned that, that, that burning cat piss is the worst <laughs> in the known universe. And that cats are evil. Mm, some. Cats could understand darkness. 
And we learn oh. this. Oh. oh. I'm a happy hippo. Oh. <laughs> you, just, you, you just had to get that one in on the wrap up, didn't you? Could not fucking resist, could you? Just had to get that fucker in there on the wrap up, didn't you? Yeah, it's been a while.